Astronomy and astrophysics are subjects that tend to spark the interest in people. New insights and amazing pictures during the last decades have contributed to the interest. However, the possibility to experience the wonders of the universe with your own eyes is becoming increasingly difficult. When doing your own astronomical observations, you are dependent on a clear, dark sky. This is for many a rather rare condition due to clouds or light pollution. In addition, observations take time and should be performed over some time in order to obtain the data you need. However, with the use of planetarium software, you have access to a clear sky whenever or wherever you want. This is especially important in schools. In this article, we describe some possible activities that it's possible to do in the classroom using virtual observations. As you can choose both time and place, it's possible to obtain the sun's altitude during one or more days in a reasonably short time. Combining different days, it's possible to quickly find the annual variations of the maximum solar altitude and how it depends on the latitude. In addition, it's possible to find the local noon and derive the local equation of time. That is, the variation of the time for maximum solar altitude. With this, it's possible to deduce a number of parameters for the Earth's orbit, such as the eccentricity of the orbit and the date for perihelion. But there is also an historical aspect as you can go back in time and repeat historical experiments, such as Aristarchus' method of determining the distance to the Sun. That is, measure the angle between the Sun and the Moon when the Moon is half-lit, something that it's quite easy to do using planetarium software. A similar project uses the greatest elongation to determine the orbital radius of the in inner planets, as well as their eccentricity. hertzsprung russell diagrams has played an important role in our understanding of the stellar evolution and is in some countries part of the curriculum in schools. One common misunderstanding of the hersprung russell diagram is that the position and movement in the diagram represent the spatial movement in the sky. By using planetarium software to produce a hersprung russell diagram, it's possible to decouple the hersprung russell diagram from the spatial position in the sky. By looking within a specific area in the sky, the pupil can record the absolute magnitude and color index for a number of stars and plot these in a diagram. If they have enough stars, they will be able to produce a hersprung russell diagram similar to the ones in textbooks. With this activity, they will also be aware that the number of stars matter, as well as bias and the advantage of collaboration. We have only given a few examples of activities that may be used in the classroom with planetarium software. But there are more, so we hope you will read the article and be inspired to use planetarium software in your teaching.